From a house in South London, 4,000 motorcyclists may be called out on a mission of mercy at any time of day or night. They are members of the Volunteer Emergency Service, an organization started in 1962 by Mrs. Margaret Ryerson and her husband. Hospitals, welfare societies, public health authorities, blood transfusion centers, anyone in fact with an urgent transport problem that concerns people's welfare, ring this house and the emergency service goes into action. The volunteers are scattered throughout the country and a phone call is put through to the nearest. These missions are entirely voluntary. The riders pay for their own petrol and they even pay to join the organization. 17-year-old Chris O'Hanlon, one of the volunteers in Surrey, is still at school. But here, he's being called out to deliver blood urgently required by a local hospital. At the blood transfusion center, no time is lost. Soon he's on his way again with a box strapped to the back of his bike that could mean the difference between life and death for someone. Someone who might even be a fellow motorcyclist. Another ride is over. One, like so many others, that never makes the news. There are